And we conclude tonight's program with Diane Baker, an accomplished actress in films like Diary of Anne Frank and The Silence of the Lambs and dozens of other films. But most importantly, she is currently director of acting at the School of Motion Pictures and Television at the Academy of Art University. Welcome, Thank Diane. you, Art. I was stunned when I uh, did some uh, research on the Academy of Art. You know, we see their trucks, uh, their buses going around. Uh, we yeah. see uh, every corner there's an Academy and Art building. Uh, 10,000 students. That's a major campus if it were all like Mission Bay imagine. put in one place. Yeah, imagine if it was in one place. Imagine. I, I, it would be huge. And then I didn't associate, although we met accidentally mm -hmm. one time at the Magic Theater, I never associated the school with uh, drama, acting, motion pictures. We, we normally uh, think of it kind of like as a heroes college, you know, we're training right. graphic artists and illustrators and so on. Mm -hmm. how, how significant is this department that you now head? Well, I was called in, I was asked by our president, uh, Lisa Stevens, and her father, Mr. S Richard Stevens, um, to fly up. I, I, I thought, what in the world is this about? I had never entertained the thought of doing this. Um, but it, I, I thought about it for a month, and then I took the invitation to mm -hmm. fly up and have lunch at the palace. Mm -hmm. And there were in, uh, about eight or nine of them around the table. And uh, we walked back to Elisa's office, and she said, what do you want to do? Mr. Stevens walked me into Mason, Post and Mason, and said to me, what would you do with this? And it was a, f a 1,500 feet space. I mean, that's how big it was. What would you do with this if you had it? And I mean, my mind was going around in a circle. I thought, you're asking me if I want to create, help you create a real acting program. You would obviously need a venue for theater. You want to, my mind was, do, was doing those circles that every creative person would do. You would do, if someone said sure. to you, what would you want to see sure. if you had two years left of your life? What sure. would you want to do with it? Yes. I saw all my passion for Shakespeare. I saw the movement, the dance. I saw tap dancing that I missed when I was, when those early days, Debbie Reynolds said, come on, take tap with my teacher. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Aww. I didn't sing when I wanted to take lessons. I never did it. I thought all of these wonderful uh, avenues mm -hmm. of art that should all be w one major thing. It's rather like a having a conservatory where the arts all feed into one another and it's all about performance. And then Elisa Stevens, our president, said, Diane, I really want you to concentrate on the film part of it. I've done productions. I've uh, produced quite a few things. I've won some awards with that. And I felt comfortable talking about how to or orchestrate something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I realized that, that we, ne we need to show actors from the theater who tend to be bigger, you know, we're out there, you've got a big stage, mm -hmm. how to focus on that, this, here's the screen, the box. How do you br get intimate and how to work, get actors to understand the intimacy of that so relationship. So you made the decision that you would definitely not be teaching drama for the stage, but definitely teaching acting for the small... Yes, except I believe, truthfully, that all acting, it's acting. You have to learn the basics. So what we do is we start with just pure acting, with classes on stage, good teachers working everywhere. Like our friend Jim Jarrett. Jim Jarrett, a wonderful example. Um, uh, Andrew Hurtog, Karen Hurst, uh, we have great teachers really at the school. Here in San Francisco. Yeah, we've got them all coming to us. Um, so we have all those core early classes where you have to learn the technique, mm -hmm. to learn to get up, you have to learn to, to memorize, sure. to learn what a play is, what are the meanings and how to get underneath the dialogue before they reach camera, which is what I teach. I teach the last aspect their last uh, classes before undergrads graduate, and I teach the master's program when they've already had some mastery of the acting techniques. If there's one thing, th th what's the very first thing you teach a student that's normally on stage uh, and they're now going to move to the camera? The first thing is you have to have them understand it's moment to moment with the simplicity of listening to the other actor and being simple. The camera can't handle people who start, you don't, I, I have had more people, I go up and say, don't do anything. 
stop with the eyebrows, stop with the forehead. Just realize I get them to see themselves when they are off camera talking, chatting between the m takes. I have a cameraman shoot film that. I see. And then I say, hey, when you got on camera, you suddenly started acting. Do you recognize the simplicity when you're real versus the, the, the sudden uh, action? Uh, Hitchcock once said on a set, and I, w I was in Marnie's, so I, I, was, I, hear, I heard everything he said, and I remembered it all these years. He said, to one actor who was older, there's so much writing on your face I can't see the expression. So we want to see the inside out. We want to see the real expression that you are trying to share with the audience rather than the showing and mm -hmm, showing. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you I'm listening. And But the camera, you know, of course, is so close that it's going it to pick up everything. It knows everything. when you're listening. That's the difference between having an audience where someone's ten rows back. Yes. Then the camera. But even being then, you don't go. I'm listening. <laughs> right now, you know? so in other words, this is actually kind of unique because there are other mm. schools of drama. Mm -hmm. In uh, ACT has schools of drama, but you're specifically training your 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 classes are trained for the camera. Well, uh, and actually, uh, commercially, uh, that might actually be a little bit a little bit better for a young actor or an uh, actress, correct? True, in terms of uh, getting possibly work. getting work and Whether get making a living. Whether it's commercials or, or Voiceovers we have. We exactly. have commercials. We also teach actors how to audition and to get a job. That's terrific. And I've been doing a lot of my own uh, calling. I, I see two or three students who really, I feel, are ready. I have called Universal. I've called uh, friends in Hollywood casting, and they see them right away, and they have actually gotten in. Do you think that you are building a reputation down in Los Angeles and New York for, for the students that are coming out of your school yet, or is it too early? I think we're just barely beginning, um, and I'm, hold, I'm hoping I can hold out doing this. I hope you can, You know you what I mean? Too. I love acting. I just, what uh, an I just gave up a five-week show a ser thing, I won't say, but because it started last Monday, what do I have? I have graduation. I have the finals for the students that I've worked hard all year. How can I walk out? But How can I commit to the, but I will. You mean to, will to production, you mean? To, to filming, because to going out and being an actress, just leaving the school, walking out, and not following my people. We have literally, a, I had to fin get them out uh, so uh, on this May. your family? It became, it's become the family. But I have to make a break at some point, that I'm aware of. How do you mean? Make a break. I have to either help, continue to help them, be a consultant, but do my work. Because yeah. I have a lot to say yet, a when lot to do. Uh, well, I mean, it's just, uh, it's remarkable. Uh, we're not going to get into that. Yeah, because no, no. Because, but I'm here your, to talk your about Your background, I mean, obviously, you're a, you're a hard-working actor. I mean, and you've, you've been... <laughs> You've I been know. A, and it's tremendous uh, with Gregory Peck and I, and I mean I it's know. just extraordinary and yet you're saying that this work that you're doing now can be o more important to you f to to give up uh, roles that you're being offered even now uh, uh, I can't explain on a it. weekly basis I can't explain it it took three days to do Silence of the Lambs that's not a big deal but yet it made an impact mm -hmm. those are things I can do those are things that are worth doing when you get them chances. But you know what? We have a film festival. It's T called Epidemic. Yeah. And it's on tomorrow night, Wednesday, from 5. Well, it starts at 7. It'll be on this seven. week because we're going to air this, this program. This week, 7 o'clock starting. And I am, I, we've, I've, uh, we've offered an honorary doctorate to William Fraker, who was the cinematographer for Close Encounters of the Third Time, Rosemary's Baby, mm. um, Looking for Mr. Goodbar. Uh, Is he a, a Bay Area resident? No, he's from Los Angeles. So you're honoring him on, uh, this week? We're honoring him tomorrow night. Yes. And he's going to fly up. We have Chad Lowe, our MC, who has done Life Goes On. We have Harry Weiner, who directs all the two hours and many hour shows in L.A. We have uh, Randall Kleiser, who directed Grease and... This is, um, a, this is the first annual Epidemic Film the Festival. The biggest one we've had in the Castro Theater. And you, you this was I'm something... Jonathan Fungs, this is his baby. He's an associate uh, director of our motion picture. He created Epidemic with students who run it themselves. Oh. It was such a huge success every year. I used to walk in. I couldn't get in the door. I would back out. They had popcorn machine going. <laughs> and I thought, this is... Fantastic. These are students' work. Students who work, all students' work. 
At the Academy at of the Art. At the Academy. And I have a, a whole slew of actors that are now, we have our winners. We had, I had judges from L.A. I had Deborah Rapp and Millie Perkins of Diary of Anne Frank, Bruce Davidson, who was nominated for an Academy Award. Um, who are judging the... For judging. Ron Parker, who has written uh, the uh, uh, recent Robert Duvall, ha uh, Thomas Hayden Church AMC thing. Wonderful. Broken Trail. Mm -hmm. He's a judge. Um, oh. I had all these judges. Now, are, 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 is there work uh, dramatic? Uh, yeah. It's not documentary. No, it's all Which from is scenes. also unique for, uh, of what you're doing is that you find in the Bay Area that there's a lot of documentary schools. This is non-documentary. I, I got the stu uh, Elisa, our president, to help build a soundstage, which we n they never had before. The school did not have a soundstage. It did not have anything comparable to this. So... Uh, it, I got use of it. I got her to build it for the acting, because I said actors have to have private sound mm -hmm. uh, uh, stage. You can't have them out always on the street. Sure. Documentaries you can do out. Yes, you, uh, that's. So yeah. we needed we needed controlled situation. So she built it, and uh, all our classes are in there. We have I hired a DP full time, sound full time, a stage manager full time, an editor full time who works next door to me with two huge editing machines, mm -hmm. all Final Cut Pro. And we daily, we, we do the scenes, we run them up. We work and uh, edit it. Next week, they're out. And, and, and this festival, which is going to be held uh, this week, while we're, uh, mm -hmm. this program will be aired this week, the, this is the work of those students who are coming out. Uh, of what motion are they pictures. Are they three minute, five minute? Uh, the, the maximum for the best film is uh, 16 minutes, I believe. So they're short? Uh, short films. Are, are they intended to be? Pieces or just a slice of a film? No, a whole piece, arc, the beginning, yeah, middle, and end of the everything. story. And, and Commercials is nominated. Oh, uh, I see. We have them. A music video, which yeah. is going to, I know already a few that are just dynamite. You know what? It's amazing. And then you're bringing Jim Jarrett in, who I've had on the program twice. I love Jim Jarrett. It Let me say it to the whole world. It seems I to me him. that if I were a young actor or someone who wanted to be an actor, that it sounds like you've got a winner. I, you know, I, I don't have an affection for Academy of Art. I know that they have mm -hmm. a reputation. Sometimes it's not too pleasant. But for what you're doing, it seems like the, the most natural mm -hmm. way that if you're serious about the business, mm -hmm. that's the way you go. I would like if our president would give me more autonomy in the area that I know best and let us build something as an, sort of like a, uh, an adjunct to this. And, and they can do what they want. But I... I think we have something precious here. If, I think you have a lot of talent, if, too, in if, the Bay Area. If I feel that there's no way I One can minute. do what I want, I will find a way to do it yeah. wherever. Well, look, there's 7 million people living here, and there's an awful lot of talented people here. It seems to mm -hmm. me that uh, someone was bound to do it, but they're lucky that, that they brought someone like you in. That, that was a smart move on his part. You have to admit that. Well, uh, to bring Jim, too. To and to bring Jim, but to bring Diane Baker, I well, think, was pr pretty pr critical because it seems like you're grounded in reality, the reality of the business. I'm grounded in reality with enough rejections that I can, and enough of the other to keep me going. And to teach the students to keep going. And, and to teach the students that it can be done. If I can do it, and I'm not Britney Spears, and I don't have to be in the news every night, believe mm. me, I have many times walked off of an airplane hiding behind people as I get off and watched the Raquel Welches prepare for their arrival with the makeup and the entourage. Mm -hmm. I bypassed. They used to have to push me <laughs> out to Hedda Hopper when she visited our set. But you're, uh, I and I never wanted to do it. I will have a, a link to my site so people know just the extensive background they have and how lucky we are. Art, do you know what it's about? We're gonna it's have about the work. It's about the work, and that's what you're doing here, and we appreciate Thank that you're you. doing it for all the young actors Thank here. You. Thanks for being with us, Diane. Thanks a lot, Art. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you uh, next time.